Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today we're going to cut some stuff. I've got some stuff from Keith Cunningham. Those who might remember I did an unboxing where we kind of sent each other, we did a swap, rock swap. And so I've got a few of them I want to cut open right now. Let's take a quick look at them. Here we have a few of the ones that I think are good size that will work well on this saw. I do have quite a few still to cut that are big that I'll have to save till I have a bigger saw and a few others that I want to do other things with. But for now, this is what we're going to cut open. Starting off with one of the agates. Let's see what we got here. It's kind of what I thought. I thought it would be mostly colorless, but it should allow a fair bit of light through it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, the next one from the outside looks like a geode or an agate or a thunder egg. So let's see. Ah, I'd say that's pretty much an agate. Okay, nice. It'd be nice if I would have cut across here and had that as the base. Huh. Well, that's how you learn. Here's the next one. And thanks to my subscribers, they have told me that this is known as Unakite or Unakite. You know what? I need to look up the pronunciation. It's probably Unakite, but I'll look it up and find out for sure. I'm assuming it'll probably look on the same as, about as the inside as the outside. Pretty much. Yeah, it kind of looks like a really neat granite with like red jasper going through it. And some of the ones I have have green in them too, a lot of green. Pretty cool stuff. I like it. Okay, this one looks like one of those geodes that uh, have all those little calcite crystals, all those little crystals in it. They're probably quartz crystals actually. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> every now and then you'll get one that's a dud. There's this tiny little crystal pocket here and then just a whole bunch of crystals that have all grown together. Oh, that's too bad. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it happens. So here's that nice tumbled piece of wood that he sent. Unfortunately, it had an inherent fracture in it and it broke as I was cutting it. Oh, that's beautiful though, the grain of it. So you can see the flaw going through it, the fracture. There are actually a couple fractures. So what I'm gonna do in this case is this piece, the bigger one, I'm gonna hold on to it till I can uh, just grind it down and make it into something nice. Unfortunate, but it happens. When they're tumbled, you never know. They could have a fracture in them. Okay, here's another agate. I was really excited for this one because it looked like it had red in it. So here it is. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty nice. So it looks like there's like these thin fractures that had some iron go through it, resulting in the color and the patterns. That's pretty cool. Okay, here's one of the uh, Jaspers that Keith sent. Let's take a look. Nice. Oh, I'm glad I caught that vein. That's nice. Looks like a lightning bolt going through it. That's pretty cool. I like that one. And here's the final one which looks like a thunder egg from Oregon. Let's take a look. Yep, that looks like a thunder egg. Nice. That's a good one. What a good one to end on. And there you have it. That's some of the rocks from Keith, who uh, we did the rocks up with, and pretty nice. Now you might be thinking, wait, weren't there more that you were gonna cut? Yeah, there were. I decided as I was cutting, there were a couple that were still a little big that I thought, I'm gonna save these to have a bigger saw. And one that was too small that I was like, might be better if I tumble this one. So I decided to just cut those ones. And they turned out pretty nice. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you again, Keith. And remember, there is treasure everywhere.